Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today, we're gonna be creating this awesome mosaic smiley face. Now, you can definitely do more stuff with this mosaic. This is a very simple, um, way of doing it. You can make it more advanced, you can make more advanced scenes with it. You can even animate it if you want to. So, a couple of different scenes that I've done with it. You guys saw the thumbnail. This was a practice one that I did earlier, it kinda looks cool. Um... So, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. In a couple of days, you're going to see the animated tutorial for this. So, let's go ahead and start a new scene in Blender. So, now that we've opened up a new scene in Blender, we can go ahead and start creating our mosaic. Alright, so do, go ahead and delete the default cube real quick. And add a plane. Rotate it by 90 degrees on the x-axis, and go ahead and set up our, your camera. Okay, we're going to do like a portrait style. Kind of like that. Scale the plane up. Oh, there we go. And that's about the size of our plane, and this will be our basic mosaic here. Now, we're going to create a very simple smiley face in today's video, so it'll be very easy and very simple. Now, you guys can take this to the extreme and completely make amazing stuff. Now, if you create something amazing, please, by all means, email it to me. Send me an image. Let's go ahead and start by changing our engine to the Cycles Render. Go over the material, add a new material, and name it Mosaic Base. Okay. Now, if we go into rendered uh, viewport shading real quick, looks like poop, right? That's very true. So let's go ahead and go into the node editor, drag a new window over, there we go. Delete the default diffuse node, and add an emission. This is so that we can see our mosaic better, right? Then go ahead and add a mix node, a mixed RGB. Take the color of that, and put it into the emission. This is for the mosaic, different colors and stuff like that, right? Then go ahead and add a Veroni texture. Take the color of that, and put it into the factor. And you'll see why this Veroni texture matters. Go ahead and change the colors of this. You can change it to blue and orange. We'll just do orange and red. There we go. And let's go ahead and go into render. This looks terrible. It does not look like a mosaic at all. Change the intensity over to cells. Or change, I'm sorry, change the coloring over to cells. And it looks much more like a mosaic. You can change the scale of this to make it look better too. Alright. And you can change the... Stuff to multiply, add, stuff like that, and it kind of looks cool, but I'm going to keep it at mix for now. Okay. You can also change your emission strength, and that also makes it look a little bit better. Change it to viewport shading solid. And let's do one more thing. Add a texture coordinate, take the object value of that, and put it into the vector of the Veroni texture. Alright. So this is our va very basic mosaic. There's no shape to this, though. It's just a very basic plane with a very basic mo mosaic pattern, right? So how do we create shapes in this? Go ahead and go into edit mode on your plane. Whoop. Click K, and go ahead and cut out some shapes. So let's go ahead and cut out a smiley face real quick. That looks really cool. Right. Okay, so that's our basic smiley face. Um, now, one more thing we need to do. Go ahead and take all of the stuff that's going to be the same material. So, like, the eyes and the teeth are both white. Press P. Select it all first. Press P and click by selection. Same thing for the pupils. And same thing for the mouth. Set everything. Select everything. Then over here in the Edit tab, Transform Edit tab, click Set Origin, Origin to Geometry. All right. And let's go ahead and change the materials. So for the mosaic base, again, F4. And change the material colors here. White on, like, gray. It looks kind of cool in this view. Uh, for the eyes and stuff. Or, actually, for the pupils, that should be what it is. Not the, or, or not the pupils, I'm sorry. For the eyes and teeth, that's what, what it should be. But for the pupils, it should be blue, or green, or whatever your eye color is. 
I mean, you don't even have to do your eye color. You can completely change it. Like, this is not my eye color. I don't have blue eyes. So click rendered, and it looks kind of cool, right? Solid. Go back to the mouth. F2, red for the top color, and black for the bottom color. Go into rendered. And that looks awesome, right? Let's go in and render this. You can even do eyebrows. So if you want, you could do like these uh, embarrassed eyebrows. You know, you can do like uh, mad eyebrows, sad eyebrows. Or in general, happy eyebrows. You guys don't have to do that. You can, you don't have to. But I think that's good for this tutorial. Let's go to render this and see what it looks like. All right, so now that it is rendered, it looks awesome, right? That is our basic mosaic. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.